Hey, greetings. I am Sabira Falame, and I'm coming to you from senseisabira.com. I'm the author of How to Transform Wounds to Wisdom and Create a New Life, which is my story of overcoming breast cancer. And I am supporting spiritual life coaches, authors, speakers, and life coaches in general to learn how to use the power of the law of attraction along with attraction marketing and the most powerful, uh, to me, the most powerful form of marketing, which is storytelling, right? To uh, get your message across on social media and attract your right and perfect client to you. So let's get right into it. So today's video, I'm going to be teaching you four ways. You heard me. Four ways to use attraction marketing to bring to yourself two to five customers each and every week awesome right so let's jump in let's jump in four ways number one you always want to be thinking and talking and writing in terms of benefits not features okay so let's look at what are the difference between benefits and features nine times out of ten what you're doing right now is talking about features in other words you're giving the name of your um your product or company that you represent you're talking about you know how long it's been in business you're talking about all the um, amenities about the product or service right it has 20 million minerals and vitamins and all this stuff people don't care about that what they care about is what is your product gonna do for them they really don't even care about the name honestly they're looking for results results are benefits so you want to learn and you want to start talking about the benefits rather than the features talking about benefits is hugely hugely attractive okay number two you want to click pick your platform right so on social media you want to find what I like to call your platform of voice what is the most the place where not where you're most comfortable, where you like to hang out, but where are the majority of your customers hanging out? If they're on Instagram, that needs to be your platform for your voice. If they're on Facebook, then you need to be on Facebook. If they're on YouTube, so that requires you to do a little bit of research to find out where your customers are hanging out, and then you're going to want to pick that as your platform of voice my customers tend to be on Facebook so where you're gonna find me every single day is on Facebook right giving them what are the benefits of uh, my services okay so that's number two number three is you want to create a schedule and be consistent with your schedule so excuse me so if you are going live on a regular basis for instance I go live Monday through Friday at 830 from my Facebook personal page right so my tribe knows every day at 830 they're trained right I've got them clicking they know how to find me and every day at 830 they know I'm gonna bring them some value based on the benefits of my services right so again <clears throat> excuse me you want to be consistent with a schedule that you create and then you want to show up and you want to provide value meaning benefits how you can help them do something that they want to do right all right <clears throat> number four is mindset and really I probably should have made this number one because that's the number one thing that you need to get in place is you want to have a mindset that your business is already a million dollar business. Even though it's not when you start out, you want to, as you always hear a leader say, begin with the end in mind, right? So at the end of the day, which could be five years from now, 10 years from now, two years from now, who knows? But if your goal is to have a million dollar business, if your goal is to have a hundred thousand dollar business or a sixty thousand dollar a year business whatever it is for you 
you want to take on the mindset of that and you want to treat your business already like it is a million dollar business, a six figure business, a $60,000 a year business, right? Don't treat it like a hobby, meaning you show up when you want, when you feel like it, you don't want to do that, right? You got to remember it's about input and output. So whatever you put into your business, guaranteed this is just a law. It's a universal law that what you put in is what you get out. And there is no way around that. There's no half stepping. There's no short changing. None of that. You got to come now as if your business was already where you want it to be. That way you have a, a degree of excellence that you're always striving for and aiming for. And so your customers or your potential customers, when they come to whatever your platform of voice is, they're going to feel um, like they're dealing with somebody who's very serious about their business. And that's going to make them take you serious. And that's going to make them attracted to you. Okay. So those are your four things. Let me say those for you one more time. Get my notes here for you. I want to, I always work with notes, guys. Straight no chaser. Straight no chaser. <laughs> because I want to make sure I don't miss anything for you guys, right? So here we go. Number one, think, talk, write everything in terms of benefits, not features. What can you do? What can your product, what can your service do for your potential and your current customers? All right. Number two. Pick your platform of voice. Where are you going to use your voice? Where is it going to be leveraged the most for you? Wherever your customers are. Okay, that's number two. Number three, create a consistent schedule and stick to it, right? That way your customers always know when to meet you and where to meet you. And they start trusting you. Trust is hugely attractive. Okay. And number four, treat your business like a million dollar business, whatever your goal is right now. If your goal is a million, Hey, treat it like a million, no matter how long it takes to get there. If your goal is 60,000 a year, treat it like a $60,000 a year business. Your customers will then treat you in the same way. So again, I am Sensei Sabira, Sabira Falame. You can find me over on Facebook. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, you can find out other places where you can reach me, which is going to be Facebook right down below here in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.